What's up, dudes? Welcome back to the Gregor Gaming Experience. Uh, I'm going to be taking a look at the Demon Vale roadmap uh, that was released not too long ago. Um, if, if you're wondering the reason why I'm talking quiet, it's because uh, it's late. And I've been putting this video off uh, for much longer than I should have, but it is what it is. And uh, we're just we're going to have some ASMR patch notes. Here at the Gregor Gaming Experience, I want you to fight for your hairline. Obviously, this video is sponsored by Keeps. Keeps is a subscription service that helps men keep their hair by getting them in touch with two of the FDA-approved treatments for hair loss. Keeps offers you 24-7 support that keeps you in touch huh, with doctors, physicians, and other personnel, a dedicated staff of people that are dedicated to helping men keep the hair they have on their head. And you can do all of this from your couch. You can do it all online. And Keeps has a proven track record. They help out a lot of guys. In fact, two out of three men are going to experience some kind of male pattern baldness by the time they reach age 35. When it comes to male pattern baldness, it's important to act fast. And Keeps is ready to help you out. Hair loss stops with Keeps. Go to keeps.com slash Gregor or go to the link in the description and you'll get 50% off of your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Gregor. 50% off of your first order. And thanks again to Keeps for sponsoring this channel and supporting the Gregor Gaming Experience for well over a year now. Demon Vale has been consistently characterized as, uh, I guess, the the season that's supposed to save Siege. Um, quote unquote, save Siege. There's a lot riding uh, in terms of this particular operation's success. And um, there's a lot to unpack here, both from an operator design standpoint as well as the roadmap. Uh, I'm not doing a dedicated video on the roadmap just yet. Uh, this is going to solely talk about the actual patch itself. So let's get into it. Azami is a defender. Uh, she's got access either to impact grenades or barbed wire. Uh, she's going to recycle the uh, the Russian SMG, the, um, the VTS. Uh, 9x19, uh, the Kalashnikov SMG, or I'm assuming it's it's um, pattern <clears throat> pattern off of a um, Kalashnikov system. You can see there with the uh, with the fire selector on the right side uh, that you can operate with your uh, with your gun in the grip like this, and then kind of move your index finger up and down. The Gears of War auto shotgun that looks ridiculous, <laughs> uh, but she has that, and the uh, the D50, the Deagle, which is is a Gears of War gun too. Uh, although a little bit more believable than uh, than than this thing, I guess I'd, you know, <laughs> I I, th I think thematically speaking, um, th this gun kind of fits her uh, not only her personality but also her play style uh, in terms of what you're going to see. So the way that Azami works is she has um, she has a set of kunai knives that she can throw, and they make a um, they make a destructible barrier that can be blown up with explosives, but it's bulletproof. Um, so she's an earth bender. It's basically the idea. Uh, as you can see here, she throws it and then it expands and then it creates this um, like this piece of deployable cover. So she basically um, can put this piece of deployable cover uh, it, anywhere on, on a flat surface uh, except for deployable shields, which is something that I noticed earlier when I was playing on the on the test server today. Uh, but that's that's basically a, it, basically the idea is that Azami can manipulate the battlefield in a way uh, to create um, terrain. Uh, and catch people off guard in ways that they're not necessarily going to expect. It's it's very interesting uh, because you can do a lot with it. You can create um, one-way angles on certain lines of sight. You can uh, block up drone holes. Uh, you can use these to create like a maze of, of cover that she can kind of uh, play off of and take gunfights with, uh, new angles that the enemy probably isn't going to expect. Um, it's a it's a very versatile gadget, and it's going to give Azami a lot of flexibility. As uh, I, I think, in in terms of um, even just solo play, I think she's going to be very powerful just on her own, uh, independent of her team. Really awesome feature. Uh, I'm really excited for this. Uh, we're getting a deathmatch playlist. So I don't know if you guys remember the uh, the Halloween event we had a long time ago. Uh, that was a respawn kind of mode uh, where y they were kind of testing the uh, the waters in terms of having like a um, a dedicated five v five. Uh, respawn enable TDM sort of mode and um, they played around with it on the test server a couple of times and now it's officially coming to the game so you can play whatever operator you want um, the guns that that operator is associated with as well as their attachments and it's just a great it's just a great way to to warm up and practice 
uh, with a particular gun that you might be trying to get more uh, suited to, might be getting more acquainted with. And it's also just kind of fun to play in its own right. R really, really awesome decision. This is something that uh, the game has been needing, in my opinion, for a really long time. Uh, I, I think they've needed to do something like this, some kind of way to um, practice gunfighting in an environment that's not just tea hunt. Um, something that I, I read quite often uh, talking about this playlist was the idea that it doesn't really fit Siege. Uh, it doesn't fit the core gameplay of Siege. And m my response to those people is, I don't care. <laughs> um, it, it's not going to sink time away from the rank queue. It's just a nice thing to have for people who uh, who want to uh, practice and warm up. It's something that has been a long time coming. This game has needed something like this for, for since yesterday. So good on Yubi for finally getting around to this. Attacker repick, um, very controversial feature. I've been very open and I've been very vocal about my opinion on attacker repick. Uh, I have a whole video breaking down my arguments at the top right corner of your screen in the info card. Um, basically, the idea of it is that you're in the droning phase and you can swap out um, whatever attacking operator as well as a loadout, depending on what you see when you're in the droning phase, not after the droning phase, specifically in the droning phase. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, in my opinion, a bizarre um, approach to a problem that I don't think is going to be um, necessarily solved uh, without um, taking away some of the skill gap. Uh, I, I think that the game is always going to be defender sided to a certain extent, and there's not really going to be a whole lot you can do about that, especially if you're going to keep um, slowing down the uh, the gunplay and the gunfighting and the movement and animation speeds, because that's going to inherently uh, give an advantage to people who who are holding angles. Um, angle holding in in siege is is generally just a very powerful uh, thing, especially in a game with one shot headshots. Um, you know, that's just kind of the way it goes in any competitive shooter. Uh, I'll, Every competitive shooter on the market is defender sided to a certain extent. You know, it, there's nothing that I can say um, that's going to change Ubisoft's mind here. It looks like this is this is coming to the game, uh, whether we like it or not. And um, I don't think it's going to like destroy the game, but it does feel a little bit like like a like a noob friendly kind of change. And I think there are ways to help people like get better in terms of attacking. But for now, uh, it looks like this is something that's going to be done to. Um, to make things uh, seem at a, uh, seem at least more flexible for attackers. Universal weapon sites. Uh, this is something people have been asking for 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 a while, um, especially because a lot of people don't like the Cybertruck Hollow Sight, and there are a lot of guns that uh, had the Cybertruck Hollow Sight um, replace their conventional Hollow, and they were very upset. Um, I'm personally a a weirdo that didn't really mind the Cybertruck. However, I understand that some people uh, want more preferences. I myself. I've been putting the uh, the Nomad reflex on pretty much every gun that I have right now because that's my favorite sight in the game. And I think more options in terms of customization for sight pictures when they're not going to impact the gameplay in a negative way. This is a very good change. This is this is awesome. I'm I'm very happy uh, with with this. Like this is something that I think they should have done a long time ago, and I'm glad they're finally getting around to it. Goyo is getting a huge rework. Instead of attaching his Goyo canister to a to a deployable shield and having people play off the shield, uh, what they're gonna do here instead is that they're gonna put it in like a kind of like a lunchbox, and then he places it down, and then you can shoot it. And it's and it's like relative to uh, I guess what you would see on a deployable shield. What they're basically doing is taking that canister, um, taking it off of the shield, and then making just the can the canister a deployable um, gadget. On the test server right now, uh, this gadget is very <laughs> powerful. He has four of them, which is more than what he had before. And uh, I believe the I believe the burn timer on it is ten seconds, or I think it's twenty seconds actually. So he can burn stuff for a minute. Um, that's probably gonna get nerfed. <laughs> that's very powerful. Um, and and in a lot of ways, I think is gonna make a lot of area denial operators obsolete. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. I think he's going to, at the very least, get one of those taken away or have the timer on the uh, on the actual firebomb reduced. Um, but this but this is cool. I think it's going to actually open up a lot of avenues for Goyo in terms of the ways that he can in interact with the environment. And uh, one cool aspect about being able to place the Goyo canister on walls is that if that wall gets destroyed, then it'll pop the canister, and it basically creates a trap that he can um, set passively without having to uh, without having to shoot himself. They're doing phone verification uh, in terms of playing ranked to mitigate the cheater problem. 
there's probably still going to be some phone bots out there, but at the very least, uh, this is something that's going to help at least uh, a little bit, in my opinion. Um, I made a video talking about this, linked up in the info card. Uh, and you're also getting match replay on consoles. So Xbox and PlayStation, boys, uh, congratulations. Now you can look at your, uh, your sick plays after the fact uh, when you weren't able to originally. Cool seasonal skin design. Looks cool. I like it. I'll buy it. Okay, so operator balancing. Here we go. Uh, Valkyrie. We'll lose the signal from her cameras 10 seconds after they get thrown out. Um, good change. Needed to happen. Sorry, Valkyrie, uh, Reddit bros. Um, you're not cracked because you can jump out of one out of a million windows and then peek something with free intel that nobody can counter. Um, <laughs> I don't, yeah, that's it. I don't really know what else to tell you. Um, Valkyrie, Black Eyes, and Argus camera can now be accessed while in the air, but the video does not begin until the camera attaches to a surface. Cool. <laughs> um, I don't really know. I, did anybody do that originally? I don't. I don't know. Quality of life. Um, Echo and Mozzie's drones can now be used outside for longer, uh, ten seconds, to match the time it takes for the cameras to lose the signal. So that's kind of like in line with all of the um, defender stuff, like losing their signal ten seconds outside the building. Um, it's actually. I think it's going to make it uh, interesting to do some like active scouting with the drone. I'm curious to see what they'll do with that. Uh, Malusi's Banshee now opens quicker when activated, exposing its weak point earlier. So that's a little bit of a nerf uh, to to Banshees. You can react to them a little bit more quickly, which I personally like. I think that's gonna. I think that's fine. It, it already has a very strong pull in the fact that it like messes up with the uh, people's crosshair placement. Uh, Callie's movement is no longer penalized when equipped with her marksman rifle. Thank you. Thank you, dude. I don't know why. I don't know why this was ever a thing in the first place. Um. But Kelly needed something. And Thunderbird's Kona stations will only heal players below 100% health. Um, so you're not going to like go up to the thing and then get the overheal effect uh, just kind of randomly when you're already at, um, say, like 110 health, right? Uh, this is something I'm, I'm assuming is, is being done to kind of keep her from just being like super doc, which is fine in my opinion. So that's a long and short of Demon Veil. Vale. I'll talk about the roadmap at a later point in time, but I am going to be going on vacation from uh, this coming Wednesday to Monday, so I'm not going to be streaming or uh, or uploading for that particular time frame, even though I just announced a new upload schedule again, which tends to be how things go here. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, and uh, let me know what you think of Demon Veil vale in the comments down below. Deuces.